story ended on going up, but I think it might go down, but I want to wait until it goes as high as possible to short it. So if I short right now, and it looks like it's about to go down, but it keeps going up, that won't be good, because it might just keep going up, and then I'll be stuck in a short. So it's really important when you're entering a position to be patient. But if it does start going down right now, I might miss out on that. But it's been going down since 10,500. And I think there's going to be a little um, a little break from going down. And it might go up a little bit, maybe to like 10,400. So right now, I would wait until like, even I would short at like 10,350. And then wait for it to go... Like, yeah, wait for it to go up and then short it. But this green line right here is a long. And, um, yeah, it might just start going down from here. It might not even make it to that green line. But that's basically why I'm making this video is how I figure out where I'm going to enter. But the key is to know which direction. Like, overall, I think the direction is down. Like, right now, it looks like it's about to go down. Like, if I'm not sure... I'll just enter the position, you know? You could enter with low leverage too, just in case you're really not certain, or you could put a higher leverage. Like I have 50X right here. But if I'm super certain, I'll put 75X. I never go, I never been 100X before. I'm not, I'm not on that level. But right now, I think it's gonna go up in the short term. So if I was to do a move right now, I think it's just, to get people stuck in a short at the at the I'm not saying this is the bottom I'm saying that it's gonna it's gonna swing back up for a little bit because it's been going down since 10,500 but it could just keep going down I could be wrong it might not even make it to this green line but these are the things I think about when I'm trying to enter a position where is it gonna start reversing where is a good spot to enter? Where is a good spot to short? I think a good spot to short, it might even go all the way back up to 10,400 and then start going back down again. So anywhere between 10,350 or 10,400 would be a great spot to short. Or it might even just start going down from right here, right? So these are things that I uh, consider when um, I'm about to enter a trade. Like right now, I wouldn't actually go short because I've been going short. It It's tempting. That's tempting. To go short right now is super tempting. And it might keep going down actually right now and then go up later on. But sometimes you just got to sit back and just wait. And then that's when you get a good entry is when you let the trade come to you. Because I don't want to chase the trade been going down for a while like on one trade i just made 200 percent profit going down and then i just made another percent 12 percent profit so it'll probably start going up just because you can't just keep shorting forever but definitely there's going to be a, a spot where it continues to go down and i'm trying to figure out where that is right now so i have to wait and yeah, wait for the price to go back up and then short it. That's basically what I'm waiting to do right now. I don't have any, sh um, yeah, any shorts open right now. I only have longs because I feel like we came down really low. We could keep going down lower, but we came down really low. And it, it, it might start going up right now because we already came down so low, so... People are probably going to think it's just going to keep going low, so they're going to start shorting it now. So now it's probably going to start going up for a little bit, maybe to like 10,400. If it can't make it above 10,400 or 10,000, even where this green line is, 10,300 basically, then um, yeah, it's just going to continue to go down. But. I got to wait and see, you know, I'm trying to wait right now to figure out, is that happening, you know? But uh, that's basically how I'd enter a position, or if I'm not really too sure, I could just 
open a short really close to the green line so no matter which direction I could just wait and then whichever direction is in profit 10 20 percent I'll take profit on it the other one will be in a loss but I could just cut the leverage down with the anti-liquidation measure and then just wait for it to go in profit slightly and then close the position so I don't lose any money on the other one on the opposite direction that doesn't go into profit so if you like these type of videos like subscribe comment um, click a notifications bell turn it on leave a comment put a thumbs up subscribe go follow my twitter Kurt will send money on twitter and that's basically how I figure out if I'm going to enter a position or not those are the things I look for when I'm trying to enter a position you might have seen my other video on how I take profit if you like that video you never seen that video go check out that video just go to my channel and um, go go watch my videos I got a video on T2X T2X I take the dividends in my in one of my other videos I was taking the dividends I got from T2X and I was reinvesting them into family only token so I take funds that I make from different opportunities and I mix them around and I just try and stay in profit so right even right now this looks like a nice spot to short because it could just it could just start going down from here but it looks like it's it looks like it wants to go up but it could just probably just not do that and start going down but every single time I'm super surprised on how high it can go after a long a long session of shorting I'm surprised how high it could go so I never want to underestimate how high it could go it could start going down right now and then just start shooting up later on like three hours later to the areas that I talked about 10,400 so and then continue going down so the key is do not short or long too early because you could always get a better entry being more patient right now i want to short it but it'd probably be a bad idea you know so if you like these type of videos like comment subscribe click the notification bell um put a thumbs up and uh see you in the next video